Alright colleagues, the reason I made this video is just to introduce the new wall method login through LinkedIn Learning so um, for students and for those who, who's probably going to need new accounts and things like that but CPUT has enabled the SAML SSL um, LinkedIn Learning and there is videos if you want to google this Akron is this name here you can google it and then they'll give you more information on it and mainly what it is it's 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 mainly using SSO and in the security a certain markup language and that, that's basically what it uses so it connects to active directory and it authenticates the users that's registered now what you're going to experience now if you're a student and you go to linkedin learning um, you would be able to get to this page here right and then obviously when you go to sign in it will ask you to enter your email now when you enter your student email it's going to ask you to continue and then this will pop up now because they didn't force the CPU to SAML SSO, those who have access would probably be able to go in via email and password, you know. But if they at later stage remove this, right, then they would add this the CPU to SAML SSO. And the way this works is you click on that, it takes you to this OPA simple SAML, right, you can see there on top. And this now allows you to connect in. So you type in your username, your normal student number, not your old email address and your password, and then you hit login. As soon as you do that, it will tell you you can reach you now have access to LinkedIn Learning. And then when you do this, you you if you have a LinkedIn account, you can connect it. If not, you don't need to. Remember, this is just a learning part. So you can just say continue with LinkedIn because some of you would have a Gmail account that's your LinkedIn account, and obviously you can associate but i think just for the learning part just okay, continue without linkedin and then you obviously just say um, um, don't connect my account and then you would be able to log in and then you get options to um, welcome to linkedin learning it will give you that option to choose your courses and things you want to look at and when you've done with selecting your topics as you would say you would choose um, business topics or you would choose tech topics i should say the science um, DevOps, um, technical support, whatever you want to do, or cloud computing, um, and then you can just say continue, and then then from there you can set a goal, um, how you want to study during the week, or you can do it maybe later, and then you should have access to LinkedIn Learning, and you should see the same CPU details, you know, recommended from the university, and that's mainly how to do it. Now let's say you chose the other way, which I didn't show you, so let's say you sign out. You sign in again, you put in your email address, you continue, and we choose this way. Then obviously that will log you in, but then you have to put in your password, which you used before the time, um, which is your email and your LinkedIn password. So that might not work going forward um, because the login is different. That might be removed. And if that's been removed, then you have to use the CPU to SAML SSO, which is not enforced at the moment, but would allow you to log in with your with your student number and your password as you saw pre previously um, uh, and, and, and that will allow you to connect and you don't need to you can connect your LinkedIn account if you want to but then you have to put in all that details that connection and sync the two together thank you